guys, it's Erin. I'm back. I'm doing really amazing. And I just filmed a video for you guys, but I want to do this one first. Um, I think I might do a vlog of like how my days are going nowadays, like how my life has elevated. Because, of course, like, when I'm doing my messages, I don't really know, like, um, what the message is going to be like until, you know, I look back on it or whatever. And I literally did not care what I looked like at all. And so I just wanted to, like, I don't know. Just the message is really, like, powerful. Um, and that's what it's about. It's not about what I look like. A lot of the time, it's not about what I look like. So God is going to humble me with in different ways. And it's up to me to, to sit there after I look at it, look back on it and go, wow, like I look awful. Like I look so bad. Like that is not something that I want to put on YouTube for everybody to see, um, even if it's two people. That's like, to me, it's like, it's an ego thing, right? But just like the message says, it's not about your ego. It's about your humility. And so there's a message in there in it, in of itself. That's why the beauty of these messages is in the it's, it's so profound that these experiences that I'm experiencing are so profound that it's written all over everything. Like, you're gonna get the message through, through me in all ways. Like, you could pick up on things that I don't even pick up on. And when you put all of the puzzle pieces together, all of my messages, listen to all of my messages and I got a confirmation with rubbing my nose um that's my spiritual like tick or whatever I have lots of them but it's just something that I never used to do and now like as I become more and more like in tune and in touch with channeling messages and all that that's when all these things come come out is to show um to give like confirmation on things that I'm saying to get give like more emphasis like yes like what you're saying is truth and accurate and important and um and so there's different ways of that coming through in my in my in my physical body like spiritual belches and stuff like that and like just whatever so 
I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that there's an important message that you need to watch and make sure you watch it till the end and go back and watch messages if you're called to do so. Um, this is really for the enlightenment of humanity. It's not about me and it's about learning from each other and so we're all going to be better and you know you're getting a special preview of of God's work and the whole world is going to feel this the energy shift through um, my transformation it's going out into the ethers and out into the, you know, tarot messages of the world and all that. So, um, you're getting a firsthand view of reality, of the real deal. Like, I'm hearing the calm before the storm. And you're getting the, the news before it happens. Like the psychic, intuitive downloads from the Holy Spirit of what's to come for humanity. And so I don't even know what is more important than that. And so whoever is watching these messages, I'm hearing is highly favored by God, by the universe. For But it's your intention not listening. Like, do you really believe what I'm saying? And do you believe what's going on here? So that gives you more favor. And I'm not just saying this because I want you to watch my messages. I'm saying this because it's the truth. Because as you can see, I don't have that many followers. I'm not getting paid for these messages. I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm literally doing this as a volunteer type of thing. Like, really for humanity to to help other people and to give them to to um, relay the message that I'm receiving and um, I did get another download about um, how life I'm getting more of it right now like life is like a journey on a highway so we're driving we're driving to our destination. So when we get into our car, we don't stress out and worry before we get into our car. We don't start thinking and overthinking all the bad things that can happen to us and how we don't really know how to drive and we, we don't know what can come of the situation as we're on the road. We don't know if another car can pull up in front of us and we can crash we don't think of all those things because we have trust and faith that we've driven the car before and we learned how to drive and we took that daring step to get into the car and to go out and to drive and use our intuition to to get us to where we need to go we don't overthink the drive we don't overthink the bad things because we know that they're there we just do it because we want to get to our destination to survive we need to get to our job we we want to go to our vacation we want to go into an airplane and trust and believe that it's going to get us to our destination that's your life with god and the universe is the trust and the belief and the faith in your in in your insides 
in your higher self that you're going to get to your destination, your manifestation, your dreams, your, that you're being helped and guided by your spiritual team. God, the Holy Spirit, the universe, your spiritual guidance from your angels, ancestors, spirit guides. As long as you are in pure and good intentions and that you've earned your spot, you have to earn your place and your position. And there's karma and there's humility that's going to be keep um, triggering you and trying to, you know, take you off your path. But that's up to you to keep, keep on your path and not give up. That's why there's the saying of never give up. You can take rests and breaks and, and cry and release the pain, release the traumas, um, and then get right back up and do it again. That's like what sports train you for. And the whole mindset of positivity and, and fortitude and you keep going, even though you're taking hits and blows and and I don't really, um, agree with like some of the, the things that sports tells you to do because you're very, you're, you could be like seriously harming yourself, like physically. And that is not, um, good at all. <laughs> you have to use your logic, um, and your faith in combination. So if you keep getting hit in the head and concussions and beat up, I mean, what is making you stay there? Why are you getting beat up? Like, is it worth it? You have to have self-respect and know that you are a powerful being. And you're not a punching bag. You need to have self-respect to know that you don't want to... What is the reality of the situation? Just because you have a million fans cheering you on. If you're miserable from getting punched and abused and beaten for no reason. Like no spiritual reason. No like... If you're just trying to prove you're tough and that you can take punches, you're gonna eventually like, I'm hearing like perish. There's no, that's just stupidity is what I'm hearing. There's no um, respect Once you're gone, it's like you did that to yourself. You allowed you allowed others to beat you down because of your ego. I'm getting another vision of like um, um I'm getting evil can evil um, like a stunt person, and it's like yeah everybody's impressed of like what you did and the the things that you've you're able to achieve as a human um but at what price was that when you lose your life the thing that um god gave you um what message did you teach others? Was it to 
not cherish your life and and to teach others to be reckless with their life with their the most precious thing that you have and not really value that I mean there's other messages like that you that you have to believe and you can achieve and that God and your spiritual guidance is behind you but there needs to be respect for your vessel respect for human life and what influencing what influence do you have on others is there a bunch of kids out there trying to mimic you and do the same things as you and focus on risking their life for applause that's feeding your ego that's not true happiness and true fulfillment that is just on this cycle and this wheel of I got to do more. I got to do, I got to repeat this thing and do more and more and more and more and more to get more praise back. That's the, the praise of others is feeding your ego. So your, it's just a recipe for disaster. In other words, because that's not true fulfillment. That's not God is not telling you to do that. Because you know deep down inside your soul you're not happy. There's a lot of things that you needed to learn. And maybe there was, because I'm kind of like confused on that message. Maybe, maybe that was a sacrifice of like evil Knievel, like certain people. I'm getting David Blaine, like to show people the power of positivity, the power of your brain to accomplish great things. And they sacrificed to make that um, to proclaim that to the world and that they're truly like gifted in the fact that they were able to do those stunts and to actually achieve those stunts but there's a price and then there's a price to pay for For being in that position in life and that certain people are planted to show lessons big lessons especially in the public eye that everybody's downfall is a lesson to everybody around so There's inspiration in different ways. And those around you are being inspired by your life. So how are you going to live your life? Are you going to be an inspiration and be happy? Fulfilled with God and everything? Or are you going to be a person that is looked at like, I don't want to be like them. And there could be parts of your life where it's it fluctuates. You have ups and downs. So you don't ever give up on yourself because God doesn't want you to give up. He wants you to be a success story for others. And that you can battle through anything and you can be successful. But it all depends on you. We all have free will. 
we have all these gifts, we have all this um, predestined genetic makeup that is inherent in our physical body and brain and guidance. But it's up to us to unlock all the gifts. And so when you're in touch with your spirituality and the universe and God and, and everything that you've learned and you're humble and you're learning and you're dedicated and you're serving and you're, you're about humanity and the evolution of humanity um, because you're a servant and you want others to emulate you and be inspired by you you elevate and you get more and more unlock more and more codes of advancement is what I'm hearing um, to you're unlocking more powers spiritual powers within you and advancing to the next level like a video game and so all a lot of things that were shown like computers video games the telephone this technology is showing us what we're capable of those are things that if you can replicate something on a small scale or a large scale things are replicated in this world so like radio signals are in comparison to human connection and the signals that we give one another telepathically or energetically to one another so there's relationships to things duplications of things they're replicated so when you think on that level if this can be done over here then this can be done over here how can that relate to this and so that's how you and I just got a spiritual belt on that and I feel like I have more um, yeah so it's intense guys and it's just beautiful and powerful and amazing like electricity it's like electricity pumping through wires inside of your body and your soul and your it's just everything's elevated amplified and I just wish everybody can experience this and what I'm going through because it's possible for everyone to do this and it's like with my guidance um, I believe others can too. I'm being literally my life has been designed and dedicated for this purpose. So please join me subscribe to this channel. Once we get to a thousand subscribers um, or once we get to a certain level it might be a thousand. We might have a paid membership program to actually um, get the inside view of what like vlogs or personal stuff or, um, you know, I might just have yoga workouts that are for the public and then everything else is like private. So you have to have a membership to get in. Those of you that are the originals and that have been on this channel and have been watching and have been subscribed will get, you know, if you message me, you might get certain 
access that others don't get because you were the originals and um, and you don't have to pay the membership fees so there's privileges of watching early on and really receiving these messages and believing in what's going on here um, and I'm just getting these messages like as I'm going so there's true rewards in this there's true rewards like beyond your beliefs um, when you're tapped in this val this information is so valuable it's worth like millions to unlock these uh, powers within you like how much would you pay to unlock and unleash the power inside of you is you're getting paid beyond measure in your life you're you'll get all of it back plus millions more like the happiness like how much is your happiness worth how much is it like it spreads out to all of your life your finances your relationships everything improve and so how much is that worth to you just to watch some videos <laughs> that's the thing it's like you know, with only like 60 views of like my yoga video, um, those 60 views, those people are getting such valuable information that it's like, they don't, it, it hasn't like elevated to the point where, you know, people are aware of what's going on. So once that happens, people are willing to pay whatever just to be included and a part of what's going on. That's the vision of this. So to get in early, to have early access and early privileges of these messages, it's like you're truly blessed already. Like you've already got a million dollars in your bank account because this is worth like like money it, it's not even about money it's like beyond valuable to your life it's straight messages from God the Holy Spirit from an earth angel that's what I just heard so, <laughs> I just heard a stupid joke, like, are you picking up what I'm putting down? So, it's like there's humor and like all kinds of emotions with these messages, like, Humor, humility, happiness, love, strength, determination, kindness. Actual physical, like you could physically see what it takes a person, how you need to be like Jesus to accomplish the things in this world that make you truly happy truly like deep in your soul love have love for everything in this world in this life to truly feel that deep down in your soul that you love each day that you're excited to be a human on this planet 
And I think that humanity needs that message. There's like been this whole negative outlook and negative, negative cloud, dark negative cloud that has swept over our world a dark cloud, a darkness, a devil energy through all thing, through all dark um, energies trying to it's like the devil trying to take over and so we need to bring God back into humanity through each other God is inside of us. God is, the devil is also inside of us. We can choose the dark or the light. And then you're spreading that to others. So if somebody else is being evil towards you, that's the devil's work. Trying to interfere with your life. So that's why you have to have boundaries that keep the devil away inside of yourself and around outside of yourself so you can be happy and fulfilled and spread the light to others <laughs> that is gorgeous see this is why you stay to the end of the message and listen to the whole thing because you're being rewarded at the end how I said you're the package is neatly tied with a bow at the end. And so if you've listened this far, you're truly blessed. Truly blessed. Have a great day. Peace, love, and light. Bye.